and this one. Can you see what is the vulnerability, guys? I, I will give you just 30 seconds and let's see if you spot it. Another exercise. Yes. <laughs> okay, so these two functions has, sorry, these two. This is another modifier. Also, you can see how bad is the code just by the fact that you have modifier here and you have modifier there and the struct. I mean, it's very not organized. And here, so these functions, it basically allows anyone to mint and burn any amount of tokens. Yeah, so there is no access control, as you can see, probably they wanted to, they, they should add this modifier over here because the balancer is the one that can um, mint and redeem. He's the one who's supposed to call these functions, mint and burn, but they forgot, they made this modifier over here and the developer just forgot to edit. And you can see how many mistakes just the dev, you know, how not mature the code is and, this is a horrible code base, really, because you, you're not going to see it every day. You're not going to see this kind of code bases every day because this you can see that someone just didn't finish the job. He just wrote the modifier. He forgot to add it here to as a protection. And, and you know, it's it seems like a small thing for a developer that is not aware of, you know, vulnerabilities and access control. But, you know, this is access control vulnerability that we learned in the course, you know. It's not something very advanced, not something, you know, like science fiction, and this is very high severity because anyone can just call this function mint unlimited SSD tokens. Now, the thing is that the tokens goes only to these smart contracts, so you cannot mint it to yourself. As you can see, this is hard-coded, the address this. So it's basically, these functions are here to allow this contract, the USSD rebalancer, to mint and burn tokens when he's basically balancing the protocol, balancing the price, when there is a DPEG event or overpeg event. And it's it's just a bad vulnerability.